Hey guys, you're Marduk. In this video, I am playing Salt and Sanctuary on the Nintendo Switch here. Like you see here, we're on the Nintendo Switch, and I'm going to show you guys the size of the file because this is the digital copy of the game. This game actually came out, I think, almost like a month ago, but I received a code so I can try it out, make a video for you guys just a couple days ago. So here it is 999 megabytes. That's all it takes. Um, and also, I just realized that this game is also going to be available as a physical game soon. So here in settings, you got audio, game, and languages. You can change there. Uh, let's go and start a new game because I already did try it out just to get used to the controls a little bit. But I'm going to start from the beginning here. and going to have to create another name. There you go. I edited there the video a little bit. And... Uh, here, of course, we're going to choose our character. You could choose male, female. It really doesn't matter. Right now, I'm going to choose female, but you can even still put a mustache and beard on them if you want. <laughs> That's how it really doesn't matter at all. Like right here, I go ahead. The hairstyle, okay. Here, we can actually add a beard if you want. Facial hair, whatever. Um, here, you got whiskers, uh, color of the eyes. So on origin, this basically what it does is change. It just changes the color of them. I don't think it actually gives them any abilities. And here is your class. You got knight, mage, paladin, thief, chef, chef, <laughs> cleric, pauper, and hunter. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose. I started my first gameplay where as a knight. So I'm going to go ahead and start as Paladin. I think Mage is magic, right? I don't know if they actually do magic, but uh, we're going to start as a Paladin. And here you could choose like an effect charm or something like that. Go ahead, the ring. And it's going to start. And uh, there you go. So you got this right here. It says this world has known war for centuries, but peace is finally preciously near we delivered the princess to the kingdom across the sea where a marriage alliance would save us all failing this mission would surely plunge us into the darker days so um the reason i'm also recording this video like this in tv mode most of the times i do like to record in portable mode but you know this game is dark you know the the colors of the game is really dark so i decided to go ahead and just record here in TV mode because there was like too much um, reflections and it would look horrible if doing this video on in portable mode come on uh, a lot of people also compare this game to like uh, Dark Souls uh, even though this is a 2d game uh, but the when you actually fight those big bosses Oh my god, yes, it does feel like Dark Souls, because it, it is hard as hell. <laughs> That's when it gets hard as hell. Okay, you can evade with ZR. I'm um, here, we're going to die. We're going to have to die, because... Um, I believe you have to die anyways. Yeah, because after this right here... When you go out, there's like a big, big boss, and you die like right away because it's like almost impo impossible to beat. Then you come over here, and you're gonna be uh, like respawning, like in a lake. So this one must find the princess. See, you always appear here in this lake. Not always, but when you start right there, always gonna get killed. It doesn't matter how good you are. Shivering shore. Well, hello there. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I'm uh, Dark Souls. Dark Souls is the game that's coming out soon for Nintendo Switch as well. I think it's next month. I, um, I think it's October 19. Um, most likely, I will try it out. I will try it out, but like I said, I'm not a huge fan of 
of games like Dark Souls, Bloodborne. Bloodborne, I actually played a lot of hours, but I don't know. I just don't like it. I just don't like the when they these games try to be so, 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 so hard. So I guess I'm not a hardcore gamer. <laughs> yeah, I don't really like them. Uh, but Dark Souls for the Switch, I'm, I think I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to try it out. And um, this game, like I said, it's coming out next month if you want it physically. So if you want it physically, it's going to come out next month. And I think I saw the price for $29.99, but as a physical form. So, And this game is popular, too. So there's a lot of people that really like this game. I remember that when this game actually came out on the, on the PS Vita. It actually came out on the PS Vita and it was really popular. A lot of people loved it, but I knew I was not going to like these type of games, so I never even, I never did it, didn't even try it. So we got a key here. Didn't we get a key? This is how you go to the menu section. Yeah, there's a key. This is our sanctuary here. We're going to go ahead and select here, icon, claim sanctuary. So when you claim it, uh, this is always going to be like your spot to come and level up your character. So you level up right there. But I need five over 500 salt, I think it is. And this right here is also to level up your skills. I got nothing to offer because we just started this game. So I'm going to have to wait, play a little bit, try to accumulate 500, then come back over here. So you guys can see. I'm pretty sure a lot of people watching this video already played this game and calling me newbie. <laughs> but yeah, it's not my type of game. It's not my type of game. And I'm just sharing with you guys how this game actually look here on the Nintendo Switch, which performs pretty damn good. I don't see why the Nintendo Switch would have a hard time playing this game at all. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Now, I wanted to talk about some of the games coming up soon. Like, uh, tomorrow, the 25th, uh, we get um, South Park Stick of Truth. Now, that game, I really, really, really want to play it. I can't wait for it. Um, sadly, of course, you have to buy it, even though, yes, you buy the, f you bought, we bought the first game, not the first game, but the sequel to Stick of Truth, which was, uh, Hope But Truth, Truth But Hope, something like that. Um, and it was great. I loved it. So that game is coming out tomorrow, Stick of Truth, uh, Fractured But Hope, <laughs> Fractured But Hope. I played that game, amazing game on the Switch. It is really awesome. And part two... I can't part one, which is Trick of Truth. I can't wait to play it on the Nintendo Switch because that one I never played before. I remember skipping that game when it came out on the PlayStation 4. And a lot of people loved it. A lot of people loved it. And I just didn't play it. So being able to play it on the go, I think that game is going to consume a lot of me. And the other game which is actually going to come out, which is kind of sad, is the sequel to um, episode one, which is The Walking Dead. Like, I don't know if you guys already know, but The Walking Dead Studio, uh, which is Telltale Games, um, they closed shop. They let go over 200 employees. There's only like 25 employees left. And rumor is that they're not even going to finish it. I can't believe it. That's supposed to be the last season, the last show, the last, you know, chapter of Clementine. And there's rumors that they're not even going to finish it. Now, that sucks because I already paid it for the full season. And if episode two is the last episode we're going to get, that sucks because I don't know. How is the la how is episode two going to end? You know? Are they going to actually uh, change the ending of episode two so it can become like the definitive ending of the series? But I don't know. I don't know. kind of sucks. It's really sad. So, yeah, that game should be coming out on Tuesday. And I also heard, but I haven't seen the, 
I haven't seen the promotion anywhere. But I also heard that um, Batman Enemy Within, I think it is, the second one, the second season, I think it was supposed to come out tomorrow as well. So here we're switching between red shards. Red shards, you use it here to... Um, Okay, do I have... Oh, look at this. I think I already have over 500 salt. So maybe I should try go back over there to the... Maybe I should try to go back over there to the Sanctuarium. Yeah, I'm trying to look for that bell. Because there's supposed to be like a bell in my, in my settings. Not my settings, my menu that you see up there. That you ring it. And you appear at it. Tra it transfer you to the red um, sanctuary, but I couldn't find it. So now we have to freaking walk over there. Okay, so we're here now. So we're gonna level up. So you can see that we got 560. Boom. Now we're level up. We also got the tree of skills. So here you can have upgrade like the strength, like their ability to block, uh, willpower, uh, I think it's weapon damage as well. So here is long, like you see their big skill tree. Uh, make an offering. Okay, make an offering. This guy appears, setting up shops. That way I can go ahead and buy stuff from him. There you go. Greetings, travelers talk buy items sell items so I, if i want i could buy items from him okay oh that's what it is but i don't have enough uh, okay i thought i had that on the first game without buying it that's the bell of the return that when you ring the bell you actually come back to the sanctuary it doesn't matter where you at now that's like a must item you have to have in your menu and I don't have it. Kinda sucks. I don't have it. So we're gonna try to get up there again. See if we, f we could get to fight the first boss of this game. Just running through everybody. There you go. Mm -mm. Damn. I gotta say this mullet, how you call this weapon? It's really damaging. <laughs> it causes a lot of damage. Let's get up there. Okay. Oh, there's something shining up there. I think we should go up there and see what it is. I'm gonna pick that up right here. Throwing daggers and a torch. So. Like you see, the game actually is really damn cool. If you like like exploring stuff and, and, and collecting um, items to upgrade your characters and all that, it's really damn cool. Uh, but if you ask me, I really prefer um, Dead Cells. <laughs> Dead Cells for me actually looks really cool. I really like it. And uh, maybe the shining stuff is over here. Nope. Oh, there is a shining item over here. Hey, dude. This freaking thing okay i don't know what was that uh-huh nope oh. oh, fucker okay so i think we're getting close to the first boss because we got here this right here is like a little checkpoint there you go cool oh i thought it was a longer drop okay we got something there jo journey bottle oh Okay, so this is uh, another shortcut or a, a gate that was closed before. It makes it easier to go to the sanctuary. Wait, there's something over here. Mend. Okay. And let's go out of here. See if we can actually fight the first boss. See if I'm lucky or not, because I, I already faced this boss like, <laughs> oh my god, like 
seven times or something like that, and I still can't beat him. That's how bad I am at this game. There you go. Okay, we are ready. We got the. Uh, let's go and put the water of blessing, the red shards available there right away, so we can recoup our. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Oh, you know what? This weapon actually does a little bit more damage than the one that I was using before. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. Oh. 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 Oh my god. Damn it. Get out of here. Get out of the way. Try to get some health. There you go. Oh. Little more. Oh, crap, crap. Get out of the way. Now, these are the small ones. Okay, come on. Oh. 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 Get out of the way. Oh, no. Get out of the way! Ah, crap, I was trying to get up. Trying to get some more health, but... Oh, no, this is not working out. This is... Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Go, 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 go! Oh, no! No, no, no! Ah! Obliterated. The Southern Knight has stolen 260 salt. Return to the location here, right there, and somebody actually drags my body there and I come back to life <laughs> so there it is guys that's how this game may actually played um, of course I'm pretty sure there's a lot more harder bosses than that one that's basically the first one and I'm having trouble with it but that's me you know that's me I'm I don't like I said I don't like these type of games um, but most likely, if you play this game and you like Dark Souls, games like Dark Souls and other or Bloodborns, um, it might not be that hard for you, you know? It might not be that hard for you. The game does run good here on the Nintendo Switch, have no problem whatsoever. And when you're playing in, in portable mode, the game does look really good on the smaller screen. So if you actually think it looks good here, it looks way better in portable mode. Uh, but oh crap! But like I said, I don't. I'm not using recording portable mode because the reflection would be too much. Okay, this one, B water of blessing. Oh crap! Come on! No, I used one accidentally. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, too close. Okay, I'm trying that. What the hell is that? A bag of salt? <laughs> what is that supposed to do? A pouch of salt. What was that supposed to do? Anybody? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, come on. Uh, get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. Oops. Get away. I ah, get away, damn it. Okay, get away. Scroll. Oh. Grow. There you go. Uh oh. Come on. What am I doing? Pouch of freaking salt. Okay, water of blessing. Uh oh. Can. Is it possible? Is it possible that we beat this guy? Oh, come on. Come on. Right there. Oh, come on. He gets harder as his life is diminishing. This guy gets harder as his life is getting even lower. Oh, damn it. Ah, that sucks. We were so close there. And he I still got killed. Oh man, that sucks. 
<laughs> well, at least I got to show you guys how this game actually performs here. I'm not going to keep on um, trying because I know I'm going to get killed. What I'm going to go what I'm going to keep on doing is um looking for more stuff and more salt so I can keep leveling up my character and um, leveling up my skills and all that. That way I, I'm a little bit more ready to confront the boss and make it easier. Because most likely if I do upgrade my character a lot better, the possibilities of me killing the, the boss is going to be a lot better, you know. Um, well, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know what you think about this game. Do you like it or not? Have you played it before the Nintendo Switch? Uh, let me know if you're going to pick it up. Uh, like I said, uh, there's going to be a physical game of this coming out on October 30th. And it's on pre-order right now. So if you're interested, I'll leave links in my descriptions for this game in physical form. So thanks for watching this video. Till next time, guys. Bye-bye.